Did evangelical support for President Trump ruin Christian witness? In all fairness, I should let you know that uh, as I'm recording today, it is Friday, November the 6th. I'm not sure when we'll put this particular Ask RC out, but it'll be later than today. And we are in that place where we've had the election and we don't have a final determination. And I don't know what will happen between today and the day that this goes out. However, I do know that even before the election, there were many evangelicals as well as unbelievers who were making this argument that somehow evangelical support for President Trump was ruining Christian witness to the broader culture because presumably, A, the broader culture hates Donald Trump, and so for Christians to like him is to show what horrible people we are, and B, Trump is a horrible person, and for Christians to like him is to show how horrible we are. Well, let me just say, uh, there's an element of this that I'm perfectly willing to accept. If a person, whether they were an evangelical, whether they're a Roman Catholic, whether they're an atheist or a Muslim or a Buddhist or whatever, if they took the position that President Trump could do no wrong and was the greatest thing since sliced bread, uh, it would not endear me to their ideology because he's not. It wouldn't make me think, now that's a smart person. I want to know more about what they think. That would hurt their witness, of course. But as far as I can tell, that's not what we have seen. We have seen evangelicals uh, being grateful to have a president who is not in the least bit shy about talking about his support for religious liberty and for Christians. Far more important than any of that is that we have a president who is nominated and successfully brought on to the Supreme Court uh, three justices that are likely to be uh, very much committed to the overturn of Roe versus Wade. We have a president who doesn't buy into political craze. I, I, I could go on and say lots of nice things. And someone else could go on and say lots of bad things. I, I, I don't dispute that he can be crass, that he can be pushy, that he can have... Uh, uh, a less than polite side to him, no question about it. I can also uh, fault 101 of his policies. But I can do that for anybody. All of us, every single evangelical, whoever we may have voted for, have voted for someone who has all sorts of warts and ugliness. And every one of us who voted also have warts and ugliness. Now, I'm not trying to flatten things out. I'm not saying that, uh, you know, if Stalin were running against Hitler, that I would take the view that, hey, what's the big deal? We're all sinners. They're both horrible, horrible people. Even by the standard of how horrible people are. It's not my point at all. My point is, that voting for someone and hoping that he wins isn't the same thing as approving of everything that he's done. I don't take the position that uh, everyone who's voted for Joseph Biden is uh, a, a child predator. I'm not even taking the position that, that uh, Joe Biden is a child predator. I will say that that whole, there's a lot of creepy stuff out there. A lot of it. But if someone thought he's the best one, I, I think they're wrong. But I don't think it's ruined their witness. We're all wrong on things. If my conviction that I won't vote for anybody unless they're committed to protect unborn children, uh, 
makes me a pariah with a broader culture, so be it. Because that's Jesus' conviction. 